Radio personality Connie Donnell, better known as the Gospel Diva, has passed away. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald tells us how the hugely popular 92Q host used her fame for good. Nashville Radio's Connie Donnell will be remembered for serving others even when the spotlight was on her. What, what does change have? When the Gospel Diva spoke, people in Nashville listened. You needed something done if somebody got burned out of their home, if there were some children that didn't have food, kind of get on that mic. The food is on the way, the clothes are coming. It's, it's a done deal. For more than 30 years at 92Q, Connie Donnell, the gospel diva, was the voice of gospel radio and often the voice of reason, according to her colleagues. Amazing the power that she uh, wielded. Uh, and it was just her faith, you know. It, it was really through her faith is, is how she got it done. It wasn't really Connie as much as she was following her orders, you know, to, to be a servant. And that's who, she, that's who she was, hands down. Hello, Nashville. Sharon Kay of WFSK Radio worked alongside Danelle in the 90s and early 2000s. It was like the people in Nashville were getting uh, unbelievable blessing, okay? Unbelievable, because there was so much energy on the radio. It was electric. She says even after Danelle survived several strokes, she asked her audience to pray and help other people. I think it was what has kept her, what kept her was the good deeds that she had done for people. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that goes into things like that. Danelle retired from 92Q in 2017 to focus on her health. But her impact on the station, even the people that we have in play right now, everybody has been touched in some way or learned something or has some tutelage. The gospel diva leaves behind a son. She died Tuesday at the age of 65. Wonderful, wonderful. In Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. She will be missed. We've put together a slideshow of submitted photos of Miss Donnell. You'll find those pictures and statements about her legacy on newschannel5.com.